Hello beautiful people, my name is Nistaku and welcome back to Wolf Among Us. We are, I think we're almost done with episode 4, if not like, we're two chapters away. Oh, were we really coming back here? I don't care who killed the prostitutes. Oh yeah. If Crane was helping himself to the community coffers, it means his hand was in my pocket. Can you just let him go? Yeah, I don't know what you heard, but it didn't happen like that. Bluebeard was obviously going to be upset facts. about that. Not me the chance to get a word in. Now, Miss White, oh, Sheriff I Bigby has returned. All right, we're oh, just cutting everyone Bigby off. Wrecking Bowl himself. Bigby, where have you been? I'm not finished here, Miss White. You will have to wait. Yikes! <sighs> just one moment, please. You ghost now. Look what I found. I found goodies. The mirror shard. Seems your dog wants a biscuit. Okay. I'm not in the mood. And you've got a lot to answer for. Oh, really? Why? Buffkin, get this piece in the mirror right away. Why is he involved? With pleasure, Miss White. Ooh, be <sighs> careful. Finally, things are swinging back in the right direction. I hope it fits. Good work, Bigby. You've been gone all day. What did you uncover? Oh, a whole lot. Crane used the mirror to, to find him. I mean, crooked man door moves. Fine. All fable towns and fall. So what else did you find out? The crooked door moves. What? All right. What? Sheriff, I, I could use your assistance. I said something. Would you join Was me I just like too late? Ah. Well, you know what? I don't want to tell you in front of Toad and Bluebeard, far, especially like Bluebeard. I have a few words of my own with you. Uh. I'm believe. Oh, why did you attack? Why did you put the hurt on flight? Yeah. Are you hiding something down at the Tweedles, or was it just for fun? He worked for them, didn't he? I couldn't be sure that he wasn't involved. No, Flycatcher was going through anything. it. I was simply endeavoring to make the search a speedy one. Oh. Surely you of all people can't fault me for getting overzealous in the process. I don't buy it. Yeah. We've been holding back. We've been a good boy. Okay, Snow. Yeah, go ahead. I have more important things to deal with right now. You can be sure that we're going to have a long fucking talk about this when I'm done. Yeah, that's right. I do so enjoy our talk. Yeah, that's right. I'll wait with bated breath. Bated I don't breath. understand. This piece just doesn't want to join the rest. Do you have any idea why? It doesn't even look like it'll fit. Well, where did you find it? What has it gone through since being separated from the rest? Shattering is a very traumatic experience, uh, you know. So this process can be a little touchy. Mary had her hands on it. Helps that I have a good working relationship with the mirror. I found it in Crane's coat. Last person I saw with Crane or his coat was that psycho Bloody Mary. Maybe she had some... Ah, yes, Miss White was asking about her. That explains it. You know who and the mirror have a very unhappy history with each other. Oh. Would you like it if she tried to use you as a doorway? I think I already know the feeling. <laughs> oh. Well, I think I know how to proceed now. It will just take a little extra coaxing, that's all. Thank you for your help. It doesn't even look like you'll fit, Buffkin. It could be a while, Sheriff. I'll find you when it's ready. No, I don't want- Besides which, he might not want to come out with you watching. What? Why? Oh, he doesn't like being spied on. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Is it fixed? Did you ask about the crooked man? Can't you Buffkin's see? Still working on it. He said it might be a while. If you're so self-reliant, what do you want from the business office so bad? What I want is my business. Mm. I can't take those two right now. We're trying to catch a murderer, and they're... They're over there bickering about bureaucracy. We're at war. Don't they realize that? Okay, at war is a bit extreme, Snow. Do you need some help over there? Yeah, thanks. Go talk to Toad. But just so you know, we can't pay him. Why? He really needs to go to the farm, you know. So just break the news and be done with it. He's not- I'm not allowing him to go to the farm. No. The farm is in bad shape. We should pay him. We need to fix the farm. Toad, come here. Ah. <sighs> I see how it is. Passed off to an underling, eh? Why am I not surprised? I don't want to send her to well, the farm. Well, did cause what damage brings me in here, so maybe it's for the best. Just need a little bit of dosh to cover it. I tried talking to her about it, but it's like chatting up a brick wall, it is. Now, I'm sure you've got your own agenda, Sheriff, but I've taken a real wallet because of you. You can't deny that. I don't want to my fight him. Total, the gaping maw in my wall. Oh. Any of us sound familiar? I feel bad. I've written up a bill if you'd like to see it. I'm not looking for a handout. Just what's right. Give Crane's money. Here. Crane won't be getting any use out of this. Will that do? Crane's money, eh? 
Well, I suppose that means it belongs to me as much as anybody. <laughs> Thank you, Sherry. Yeah. Use it to get glamour, Toad. You got the money now, so I won't be so lenient if I catch you again. And the farm is always on the table. No, it's not. But of course. Aww. <laughs> He's so happy. Yay. Snow White, you need to mind your own business. Why is she acting like... She's acting no different Look at here. the very beginning. You talk? Now's your chance. I've just made my donation funding this office. So direct your questions to Miss White. Oof. 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 Well, at least he's not trying to get rid of me. He's not? For now. Well, you're stonewalling. Did you take care of Toad? Yeah, I took care I of mean, it. I saw the way he left. I know it may not seem that important right now. You're the right the thing. Won't be a problem. He's out, of our hair for, he's out of our hair you for now. As well as anyone. Look, I'll take care of it later. I told him we'd work it out, so he'd get out of our hair. We don't have time to worry about that right now. Bigby, what did I tell oh, you? Oh, shut up, Snow. When this whole thing is over, I'll send him to the farm. No questions asked, okay? No, <sighs> we're not sending him to the farm. Fine, we'll deal with it later. I know I should be asking how it got like this, but I just keep wondering why it happened to Faith and Lily. Because they knew You've something. Seen his world. Do you have any idea why he'd want them dead? They knew something. I don't know if it's the about control. Money is all he cares about. I don't know, but I'll find out. One of his goons. I don't know if it's about money. Did. What would make a person do that? I think it's about what control. I don't want to but tell her nothing. One thing I figured out it's that the crooked man is all about control. It's what he does with the loans at the pawn shop. The magic he peddles. Chains. Ribbons. Maybe Faith and Lily weren't doing what they were told. Or maybe they just tried to leave. Sheriff! Miss White! <laughs> I believe the mirror is repaired. <laughs> His voice, Sheriff! I have to say, I have been... How did that fit? But thanks for putting me back together. You're welcome. I'm sorry. I just... I have to know. Mirror, mirror. We're glad you weren't slain. Now please show us... That sick creep crane. See, like, Snow is very, like, selfish in her mind. Uh, I don't want to know. Why? Yeah, why? Snow, I know you've got your reasons, but he's not our top concern right She's now. She's worried about herself right now, and that's what I feel like. It's just, like, not right for her to be in lead. You will get on that plane to Paris, and oh. you will wait for the day the crooked man needs Paris? You. Until then, not a peep. Otherwise, I get to deal with you my way. So please, please disobey. Wait a minute. Someone's watching. No. No, no one's watching. How does she find it? Oh, weird. Oh, she's so creepy. What just happened? She controlled you. We pointed you in the wrong direction and looked at Bloody Mary's reflection. Oh, her. That explains the sting. I'd rather not have to feel the pain she brings. Buffkin's really good at rhyming. So, let's not do that again, okay? Yeah, sure. Looks like we'll have good to job, track Snow. him down later. You're right. We need to focus on the immediate threat, and that's the crooked man. Kind of angry at Snow right now. Big B. Um, we don't have a lot of time. Mirror, mirror. <sighs> mirror, mirror. No time to pout. So, where does crooked man hang out? Let's go, Big B. Good job rhyming. I don't recognize the door, but that's the crooked man symbol on it. Oh. Hold on. Oh. What is that? Is that the pudding and pie? The door. It moves. Yeah, Jersey mentioned that. Wait a minute. I know that door. That's Central Park. I don't know when it's going to move again, but I'm going to get there before it does. Big B, wait. Wait, this feels like it's the end of when the episode the already. Man. Oh, sure did I mess up again? Alive. He has to stand trial. We can't just dispense street justice. Oh, I know really? that emotions can run high. And you have your reasons to handle this a certain I'm not gonna way, say anything to you, Snow. We have to make a commitment to working within the law. I'm not really talking to you right now. I don't like you. I have enough to worry about here while I prepare the case against him. So I'm going to trust you to handle this properly. That is, if you think you're ready. I have no choice. Of course I'm ready. I got no other choice. Yeah, <laughs> there's no choice to not be ready. I don't like you, Snow. You tried to throw away Toad. And I like Toad. He, I caused his stuff, and then we're just going to send him to the farm because of what I caused. That's messed up. Oh. How quick does the door move? Oh. 
Easy. Uh, look. Yeah, let's look. Let's take that's a gander. It, all right. <laughs> yeah, that's it. I mean, are we sure? All right, let's knock. Oh, no knocking. Whoa. That is so cool. Oh, we're angry. Oh, we're ang Oh, we're moving. Oh, we're moving. Whoa. Oh, well, we can't leave now. The music is so intense. Oh. Tim. What the hell? Tim, are like you Tiny doing Tim? Here? Good evening, Sheriff. I'm here to take you to the boss. Thanks. Shake his way, hand. For leaving off Tiny. He did nothing wrong to I you? I have to admit, when they asked me to watch the door, I wasn't sure what to expect when they came through the portal. Uh, I know you aren't here on a social call. You're expecting Hold me. Hold on. You've just been waiting for me to show up? You knew I was coming? That's what they told me. I mean, that's expected. I don't know. They said you made it pretty clear. I mean, they're going to end up talking I'm to each other. I'm supposed to bring you right on in, so if you'll come this way. Look, this is the uh, one thing I have to do. I'll follow you. Fine. Lead on. There's no reason to be mean to him. He's just a boy. Well, he's a man. He's just a man. Gosh, Cooker Man takes care of you. You couldn't add WD-40 to that? Thanks for understanding. This is all I'm here to do, and I don't want to mess it up. It's okay. <laughs> I know I'm okay, probably the last person you'd expect to be here. Guard. It's dangerous for you. Or an escort, for that matter. You shouldn't be here, Tim. This place is dangerous. Especially for someone like you. It's not like that. Whatever you may think of him, he doesn't treat me like some broken little kid. I think he gets what it's like. He gave me a job, and I'm lucky to have it. This is the only option I've got. I'm happy for him, Just but I don't think it's the right mind, thing. Maybe. Because if you and the boss go up against each job, other, you should leave. The rest of Fable uh, Town is going to get I don't, in the middle. No, and if you're here, no. it can't be good. I'm going to stay quiet. So I hope you two can come to an understanding. I don't want him to start feeling bad. There's no reason for that. A lot of us depend on him. Some of us never get to the front of the line at the business office. But he's there. We need you, but we need him too. What we don't need is a war. Hey, Sheriff, hold up. I gotta go in with you. No, yeah, wait for him. There's no reason not to. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> that laugh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna tell you it. Stop laughing at me. Oh, yeah? Mate, I ain't scared of you. Oh, the Josie oh, Devil yeah. and the you pimp is there. Yeah. Problem. Sheriff Wolf, sir. Oh, they're all here. Hello. Oh, Cindy's here. Oh, he got beat up. Thank you, Tim. I know the sheriff isn't the accommodating sort. Oh. But you handled it. You did well. You can go now. Thank you, sir. Bye, Tim. Can I give him a tip? Tip of the hat? I don't have a hat. It's okay. You see, everyone in Fable Town has a role to fill. You just have to pay attention to what they need to help them find it. This is oh, this is not good. Why don't you have Why a seat? Why is Cindy Jeff? mad at us? We have a great deal to discuss. We do. No, you're coming with me. There's no reason to threaten him. All right, let's talk. Oh. All right. You got me here. Let's talk. This could be the end. Oh, oh, come on. I want to do it, but I don't. I feel like it'll just... It, I can't. I have to wait. Yeah, I, I have to wait. That's so good, though. Oh, next time. I forgot there's a next time. The final episode. I've stories about you. In the old days, how you picked off those men one by one. Oh, jeez. Is coming. And they would wait. Hiding anywhere they could squeeze their pathetic, shivering corpses. Some would just drop to their knees where they stood, close their eyes, 
and wait for death. And you give it to them. Yeah, Narissa wasn't in the room with them. <laughs> I wish I could have seen it. Oh well. Ooh, ooh, she's quick. She's quick. All right, what do we do? Oh, we did good. We did good. We did good. We did good. You and eighty-five percent of players decide decided Colin should not go to the farm. Yes. Oh gosh, I keep forgetting. You and sixty-three point eight percent of players did not try to remove the ribbon, as we shouldn't. You and thirty-six point eight players decided to go to Lucky Pond first. Well, I mean, I, there's no difference there, I believe. You and thirty percent decided Toad should not go to the farm. Yes, please. And you and 41% of players agreed to talk with him first. We're surrounded. <laughs> we're surrounded by a bunch of guys who can kill us. Of course. Of course we're not going to do that. All right. So what I think we got. I don't think we got a whole lot in the book of fables. I think maybe we just got two new ones. We'll see. Uh, oh, no. We got four. Okay. Bluebeard's money. One might think Bluebeard donates funds to the Fable Town government for nefarious purposes, seeking special favors, or to have a louder voice in the government's proceedings. But what he really wants is stability and strength, because as far as Bluebeard is concerned, Fable Town exists to insulate him for, from the Mundy world. As much as his money can be a sword, it also serves as a shield. Oh, well, that's smart. Bluebeard's like protecting himself. The Crooked Lair headquarters. Occupying a desanctified church. Oh, this is just one of the many locations the Crooked Man's of operation uses to run the Fable Town underworld. Its lounge atmosphere makes for a comfortable meeting place, unless you are an unwelcome guest. It is completely boarded up to the outside world, and the only way in is through one of the many portals marked by a door with the Crooked Man's Catherine Wheel icon. Jeez. Scattered throughout the city and elsewhere. Okay, and then is this him? The Crooked Man Crime Lord! The Crooked Man has slowly built himself into one of the most powerful figures in Fable Town. His operation started with a crooked sixpence in a crooked house. Two things he cared about more than his wife or children. Jeez. Whom he killed rather than let them stand in his way? Okay, so he's not a good guy. All right. In his rise, the Crooked Man has ensnared many fables in his criminal web, providing them with what they need, but always at a high cost. He is cunning, persuasive, and ruthless. Yeah, he's a piece of doo-doo. And Tiny Tim. While most of the fables theorize that their longevity and overall well-being is improved by the Monday world's knowledge of them, for a select few, that does not seem to apply. When a malady or injury is integral is an integral part of a fable story, that notoriety can make recovery nearly impossible. Oh, that sucks. That's what Tiny Tim thinks, at least. And no medical care or magic, uh, rather, none that he can afford can heal his leg. That's so sad. Oh. And then the rest is uh, all fives. Okay, so we actually didn't miss anything from episode uh, four. That's cool. That's our first one we fully completed. We're missing two from three, two from two, and one from one. I hope we get all five. It seems like all five we will most likely get. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this very short episode. Thank you for showing all your support of liking, commenting, and subscribing. I appreciate you all dearly. And just thank you so much for just showing up here. <laughs> Have a blessed day, guys. Bye.